IIHR Hydroscience and Engineering is um, an academic research center that focuses on hydraulics, hydrology, fluid mechanics, environmental science, and water sustainability. Um, the, the mission is to provide both fundamental uh, academic research uh, to improve the engineering and scientific community, uh, but also to do applied engineering uh, and really help the engineering community uh, move its engineering design forward. Historical record, what it suggests is that the frequency of flooding across Iowa and large areas of the central U.S. has been increasing. So one of the questions that we ask ourselves is the increase that we observe in the records, is it due to natural variability or is it driven by greenhouse gas emissions and anthropogenic climate change? The flood of 2008 made us wonder what kind of effect climate change is going to have on flooding over Iowa and over the central U.S. For many, many years we were studying river mechanics, uh, hydrology, everything about fluids and fluid flow. So recognizing uh, this expertise, the legislators uh, called us to action. They said, could you help? And uh, of course we said, yes, we could. And, uh, they established the Iowa Flood Center and uh, here at the University in the College of Engineering. Understanding the river network and its uh, statistical and other properties uh, allows us to build uh, uh, efficient and effective uh, hydrologic models. I'm looking into power law distributions to fit to flood data and we chose power law because it has similar self-scaling attributes that river network topology has and river network topology is what governs the transportation of water. Over the years, we realized that uh, we need an effective uh, way of communicating our findings to the general public of Iowa. The internet, of course, you know, that's the, the main vehicle to do this. So we developed Iowa Flood Information System at Iowa Flood Center. It's up and running for the last uh, eight years and serving the public of Iowa. IFIS is a one-stop web platform for communicating flood-related data and information, including flood forecasts, flood inundation maps, rainfall, and weather uh, information. And it deals with large-scale data sets, so we are processing over 50 gigabytes of data per day and dealing with uh, operating a, a flood forecast model that solves over 1.5 million differential equations uh, to understand uh, the flood conditions. The Iowa watershed approach is, uh, you know, something that, um, you know, that I think many of us have tremendous pride in here. Floods don't really behave across neighborhood boundaries or city boundaries or county boundaries. They behave in watersheds. So if we want to understand how floods work, if we want to put in to get in place solutions for floods, uh, we should be doing that at the watershed scale as well. And so the Iowa watershed approach includes fundamentally a, a new idea about what if we focus on implementations in the upstream areas that can result in reduced flooding downstream. In the Iowa watershed approach project, we work very closely with watershed management authorities as the local governance structure. Uh, we develop a hydrologic assessment. We work with planning consultants to create a 25 year plan for the watershed. Um, the watersheds have hired watershed coordinators whose job it is each and every day to wake up and make the watershed a better place. 
Uh, we work with voluntary landowners and the watershed coordinators to find suitable locations for conservation practices. And now across state watersheds, uh, we'll be building $40 million roughly in conservation practices. And then from you know, those projects, we use our monitoring equipment and mathematical models to quantify the benefit for uh, the benefit of these conservation practices on reduced flood damages. A lot of times we think about flood disasters in terms of how much water or the degree of damage or the economic cost. But what about the social equity implications? With social vulnerability research, a big part of it is understanding the processes, but another part is building quantitative measures that we can use to understand how bad the problem is. Over time, we uh, developed a very strong brand name. Uh, the state agencies uh, contribute to funding elements of our system. Um, we always tell them that because the, the federal agencies in particular are constrained in their mission by the acts of U.S. Congress, uh, we have more flexibility. So often if they have some ideas and they cannot act on those ideas, we can. It's really amazing to be a part of something that's a lot larger than me and to be involved in research that could potentially really positively affect hundreds of thousands of people. No matter where my career takes me, I know that the Iowa Flood Center has helped instill this desire to be a part of important research or projects. We plan to continue serving the people of Iowa. There are significant uh, scientific and, and practical issues that we need to address. So if there is something that we can do here within the state, that we should take care of ourselves. And when it comes to, to flooding and, and hydrology, water, water quality, we absolutely have the right expertise.